Okay, your drawing is now dimensionally accurate, and this is a good drawing to submit with your dragster for the TSA dragster competition. Now, a few things to think about. You may not have a printer that can print an 11 by 17 uh, drawing or a plotter that can do it. One way to do this is to, is to print both sides of your drawing on a standard laser printer or an inkjet printer and then actually tape those two together, and that is acceptable. Uh, you may also want to save this file as a PDF and send it off to a place like FedEx Kinko's or to Office Max, and you can get them printed there on a larger format printer. But this is a good drawing, and it's a good thing to work with. Never put your name here, only your entry number that you're assigned when you submit the drawing for competition. Now we're going to move on to talking about rendering and animation. SolidWorks makes rendering and putting your car together very easily. I'm going to come over here to the right and I'm going to select on the Appearances PhotoWorks plane, uh, pane right here. I'm going to pin this down. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go select Car Painted Colors. There's a lot of them out here. you got glass, you got lights, you got all kinds of things. We're going to select Car uh, Painted Car and we're going to slide down here and we're going to find a color that we like. I want to go with white for this project here. So I'm going to grab the white and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to attach it to the balsa block as you see. Once it's attached, then I can come over and see how it changes color. Then I can come over here with PhotoWorks and I can do a quick render area to make sure that my color got attached the way I want. So while it's rendering that, it's going to come up with a very nice white shine to the car. A lot of the, the color in the tint is predicated based upon your uh, lighting that you set up for your lighting scheme. And here you can see the car is now rendering. It's kind of looking a little bit gray because it's on the back side of the shadows as you see over here to the right hand side. And that looks good for right now. We'll go ahead and stop. One of the things I did to get this nice looking view of the car is I changed the actual scene that I was working in. So I went up to Photo Works and I came down here to where it says scene. And on the scene, it brings up several different environments upon which you can render your car in. And I went ahead and selected plain white to get a view of the car. And I just hit apply, and I hit close. And once I've done that, then I can come back up here to PhotoWorks, and I can come back and do a new render area. And this one on this one, I'll come back here to the back side so we can see how it looks. And so it's going to go out and render. Now, you've got a lot of options on what you can do on that. Right now, what we're trying to do is just basically get a coat of paint on the car and see how it looks. Now, we're going to go into Adobe Illustrator and create a logo upon which we can place onto the car. That looks pretty good for there for now. I've gone ahead and opened Adobe Illustrator so we can create a decal or logo that we want to put on the side of our car. I've added four layers out here, and the layers are very simple. If you want to add one or subtract it, just throw it in the trash here to get rid of it. And then hit this button here to create a new layer, and there it is. On I mean, this layer here, I'm going to call this one wings. I'm going to double click on that and key in the letter wing, or words wings. Okay, got that in there. Now I can come back and rearrange these as I see fit. Uh, oops, I got two name wings. Let's just double click on that one that we just placed, and we'll call it star. S T A R. Okay, good. Now Illustrator comes with a lot of preset primitives and stuff. But before we go too far, much farther, let's explain the difference between Illustrator and, say, Photoshop. Photoshop is a raster editing product that lets you edit photographs and images. Illustrator is a vector drawing tool which gives us very precise and very beautiful designs that can be scaled up to any size. That's why we're using Illustrator as opposed to Photoshop because we don't want to get any kind of aliasing or stair-stepping on our images as we scale them. So now that we've got that done, we're going to place the star command and I'm just going to hold my shift key down and place a star. And this one's coming in looking like a Russian star. We don't want that. We want to have it look like an American star. So we're going to come down here and we're going to flip our colors and we'll double click on the yellow color and we're going to change it to, oh, let's go ahead and change it to white. So we'll select white as our color and we'll change it to white. Now let's go back to our layer command and open it up. So we've got a white star as you see here. Now we're going to take circle and we're going to draw ourselves a circle. So here I'm going to go select lock my star layer here, lock it. And then I'll come down here to my uh, circle layer here and make sure you got that layer locked. Go down to circle. I'm going to lock the wings layer too and let's draw us a circle. So I'll come over here and hold my, shift, hold my button down so it takes the pop-up menu and there's the ellipse tool. So I'm going to draw a circle around this particular ellipse here and I'm going to change the colors. I'll double click on the white to get my special fill color that I want and I'll click on it right here. So there's my fill color. That looks pretty good. I'm going to take the uh, outline color and I'm going to turn it to white here. So that way we've got kind of a white star. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's go back to our layers here. and Let's lock our circle and let's go up here to wings. Let's stop here for a moment and come back.